Hello friends. Today you are going to learn on how to deal with data overwhelm in fleet management. Now let us discuss on data sources. 1. Vehicle centric data. 2. Behavioral data. 3. Operational data. 4. Administrative data. Vehicle centric data. A large number of sensors are being added to vehicles to track and measure the health of the vehicle as well as that of assets on board. According to a study by Frost Sullivan, today's modern fleet vehicles already have about 200 connected data points. By 2020, even a normal vehicle could have sensors to measure essential vehicle parameters such as location, speed, tire pressure, engine oil viscosity, emission levels etc. Behavioral data, sensors on board fleet vehicles can now measure fast acceleration, overspeeding, abrupt turning and hard braking by drivers. Operational data, processes such as routing, scheduling and navigation generate data. A fuel management system would consist of sensors to measure when where and how much fuel was filled, plus fuel cards that would record fuel purchases along with the date, time location etc. Many such processes and fleets would generate huge amounts of data for a vehicle. Admin data, human resources data, ELD generated work hours, payroll, billing etc. Thus, a regular fleet tracking system could generate an overwhelming amount of data. But big data does not have to mean too much data if you have access to the requisite systems and capabilities to put it to good use. Data usage, best practices. Innovative fleet management systems, essentially software as a service, SIS, or platform as a service, PIS, systems can now use the IAT and telematics data and also deliver the benefits of various analytical tools via the power of cloud computing. Essentially, this means that even if you don't have the knowledge and capabilities to analyze data, you can rely on an advanced fleet management software to do it for you. Let us see how. Alerts, by inputting various threshold limit values into the software, a system of notifications could be configured such that alerts on mobile or email could be sent out to stakeholders, every time a given limit was crossed. A POI alert could be generated every time a vehicle entered or left the premises of a specified client location. This could help in tracking vehicles and employees on a client project and also aid in accurate billing to the client. Similarly, an ETA alert could indicate to clients that a vehicle was on its way and would soon enter its premises. A speed alert could indicate to fleet managers that the driver of a vehicle had crossed the given speed limit. A geofence alert could inform the manager if a vehicle had crossed a pre-marked region. For example, an alert could be generated if the vehicle crossed a city limit. This could help to track down unauthorized use of vehicles. Dashboard, it would be possible to view information on various performance parameters for a given period of time. This could apply to drivers, vehicles, divisions, geographies etc. For example, driver behavior, vehicle utilization, uptime, downtime, idle time maintenance, depreciation, insurance, emissions, operational expenses, fuel expenses, delivery performance etc. Analytics, the analytic tools in the software would make it possible to mine the data and uncover insights on how to bring about improvements in various areas such as fuel efficiency, productivity, safety, driver retention, cost per mile, cost per engine hour, operation efficiency, etc. By analyzing driver behavior reports, one could identify behaviors such as excessive speeding, or idling that leads to higher fuel consumption. By some simple coaching given to the selected drivers, it may be possible to improve their driving style, thus improving safety, fuel efficiency as well as emission compliance. A typical fleet vehicle could generate a large number of faults, but not all of them would be critical.
A remote diagnostic module could analyze faults and prioritize them so that the most critical faults are promptly attended to. Forecasting Predictive analytic modules could make it possible to study patterns in historical as well as live data, uncover relationships, and predict what could happen in the future, so that corrective actions can be taken even before a problem occurs. By looking at sensor generated data for vehicles, one could determine the early warning signs that could lead to parts failure or a mechanical breakdown, and the optimal time to replace the vehicle part, thus prolonging the life of the vehicle. By studying data on vehicle health parameters, maintenance schedules and vehicle breakdowns, one could predict when is the most optimal time for preventive maintenance for vehicle. Next, a set of preventive maintenance alerts could be fed into the system. This could enable savings on account of lesser downtime and less money spent on repairs. By examining data on driver behavior, vehicle performance and vehicle breakdowns, it could be possible to identify drivers that are most likely to cause an accident in the near future. Thus, given the above capabilities of a fleet management system, it does not really matter if you are a large or small fleet operator. If you are clear on your specific business goals and priorities, you can leverage your data in the most effective way for your business, and profit from it. Automotive data monetization to reach $33 billion in opportunities for OEMs by 2025, finds Frost and Sullivan. February 22, 2018, Frost and Sullivan. Get your free demo now at fleetroot.com. Please like and share this video as well as subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.